Hi everyone, today we are going to look at Fangoria Magazine, Volume 2, Issue Number 10. So here you can see is the gruesome cover. Alright, so let's open it up and see what's inside this specific issue. And this issue is for January 2021. And you can take a look at the table of contents here. First off, here's the guts. And the gravy. Okay. Let's take a, take a gander. You can see the, the uh, 2021 Chainsaw Award Awards nominees in here. I believe that was completely virtual because of COVID. But I guess that's one positive thing to come out of COVID. Hopefully all of you had the opportunity to watch more horror movies and TV shows at home. You know, discover new things, revisit your favorites. And all that good stuff. I mean, between AMC and Shudder and all of these streaming services, I mean, there's so much to enjoy. And then, of course, is the amazing Blu-ray releases that Shout Factory does and other companies as well. Just really excellent content. Twenty twenty's best deaths in horror. And number one is from random acts of violence. I've not seen that. I read this article, uh, Requiem for Mary Lou, a very interesting piece. He basically found the filmmaker behind Prom Night 2 and 3, which I have not seen 3, I've only seen 1 and 2. Uh, and it's basically, as you can see here, the untold full story of the oft-maligned Mary Lou Mahoney, or Maloney. That's weird how my brain just thought it was Mahoney. Go figure. Yeah, Prom Night uh, 2 is distinctly different than the first, so you know, this interview was very revealing and insightful. Another fantastic makeup artist. I mean, growing up, I remember seeing Batman Returns and the Penguin, and wow, what... You know, what work this person did just incredible and obviously this artist worked with tim burton quite a bit with edward scissorhands and others and speaking of the penguin check that out this is i mean he was creepy as hell as a kid seeing him bite that guy's nose yeah, it was pretty brutal it's an article about godzilla Disco kills. Disco music showed up in some unexpected corners of horror, but it's a legacy in the genre. Warrants reconsideration and respect. I've always liked disco. I think disco music is fun and awesome, and um, I like it in movies. Yeah, I think it can give it a cool, fun, upbeat vibe. This piece is about 90s horror. 
And as I sit here, we're almost a month away from Scream 5 coming out in January of 2022, I believe is when it's going to be released. That series is still going. Evil clowns. I know clowns creep people out. They don't bother me too much. I understand why they might be creepy. And I think believe this is a clown from American Horror Story, is it? Yeah, that was a great season. Oh, and of course. House of a Thousand Corpses, and um, Devil Rejects, and Sid Haig. He was fantastic. You know, just a wonderful actor who unfortunately passed away too soon. Fest finds. You can see certain columns are regular, including the Nightmare Library. With a selection of books for you to read once you're done reading Fangoria. All right, so that is it. That is, per usual, 98 pages of fantastic horror for you to enjoy. That is Fangory Magazines. This is the January 2021 issue, volume two, issue number 10. You know, it might still be available online for you to pick up a copy if you don't already have it. Um, but either way, hope you enjoyed this inside look at this issue of Fangoria Magazine. Thank you so much for tuning in. And have a great day.